This is the fluid mapping table. There is a water film flowing across here. And the model is a plastic relief model, so it's just uh, half an inch, an inch deep. It has a plastic cover on the top of it. And we're looking at a planned section of Farish Hall. Uh, important things about the model is that the bottom edge has to be flush so that water doesn't flow under any of the uh, edges. What we're going to do is drop an, a line of ink into the water flow as it's flowing here from left to right. And what that's going to do is develop lines of flow so we can see how wind would behave around the building. Just taking an eyedropper. It would be better if I had blue ink and red ink to signify the seasons, but... This just illustrates patterns of flow. If you wanted to look at something really specific... And some is leaking under the model there. So, not a perfect model for this. So this is a sectional model on the fluid mapping table. And you notice that it has a ground plane so that we can show the effect of air flowing around obstructions in section. And of course with still photography or time lapse photography, we can capture this and look at things in particular. Or, so here's a sectional model on the fluid mapping table. And again, we just drop the ink lines here working above the ground plane to see flow around the obstruction. Doesn't do any good to put ink down here. We're interested in this is why this model has a ground plane, because it's a vertical section model. This might even be more dramatic, a larger scale model. I want it to go under the model. This is a sectional model. Should have a longer ground plane. And we can contrast that with wind from another direction. Just by turning the model around. Of course, the image is upside down to the camera at the moment. But this will give us an entirely different pattern. See the eddies in front of the building, how the pressure cell builds up, but the negative pressure cell immediately behind the first obstruction. You know, a little problem with the model not being perfectly flat again. Here's a more complex plan, as you might have for a site.
fluid mapping table, site plan, ink, look at the shadow paths, look at the positive pressure cells. Suppose the wind comes from a different direction, a different season, or that we choose to reorient the whole arrangement of buildings in our design phase.